Thank you for joining us for another Waza Wednesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use supplementary exercise to strengthen your throwing techniques. Now this is not a new idea. The Okinawans came up with Hojo Ando a long, long time ago where they started grabbing heavy jars and using various strength training tools to make their karate stronger. The nice thing is in today's world, weightlifting and strength training equipment has come a long ways. We now have resistance bands, battle ropes, and a variety of machines and free weights that you can use to strengthen your body on top of the old Hojo Ando equipment. So today we're gonna to use battle ropes to look at how to improve our throws. All right, so we're going to take a look at using the battle rope and doing a common exercise known as a grappler. First thing, he's gonna grab the rope with his thumbs up, very similar to grabbing onto somebody's gi uh, collar or arms on the sleeves. And this is a common throw you'll see in point fighting as well as sport grappling arts such as judo and anything where there is a uniform to throw. And even in MMA, they'll kind of hook under the arm and do similar throws as well. Notice with this, he pivots his feet back and forth, utilizing his stance the same way he's going to when he's throwing somebody. And the arms make a large arc going back and forth to disbalance the opponent for the throw. So just like with the battle rope, we're gonna use those types of motions uh, to actually facilitate a throw. Uh, and there are a lot of different throws that you can use that incorporate those types of motions. Today, we're only going to take a quick look at uh, two of them. One is a foot sweep and one is a throw. So the first one that we're going to look at uh, is Sasai Surikomiyashi, uh, which is essentially pulling your opponent so that they want to move forward and blocking their ankle so they can't step. Uh, this is something that you can see from the beginning of Pinan Shodan, for example. So in a gi, or with uh, sleeves and jackets and things, you can grab uh, high under the elbow and up on the collar near the neck. You wanna move somewhat out of the way so that they have somewhere to move. You're going to pull very much like the battle rope, trying to pull across and down in that circular motion. And when you do that, you sweep the foot, and so the other one we're going to look at as a throw is Tayatoshi or body drop. So again, with the gi, can take very much the same grip. One high under the elbow, one up by the neck. And again, we wanna move out of the way. So we're going to step back so that we have more room. Once we do that, we're going to shoot this leg forward in front of our partner or opponent. And again, this is now where that pivot and circle with the battle ropes comes in. So we've grabbed, we move out of the way, we step, and we circle. 